What is up, Guru Gang? If you are new, welcome to my channel. And if you have been a part of the gang, thank you so much for coming back to today's video, you guys. Today, I have a huge Sephora haul. Some of these items I picked up during Sephora's most recent friends and family sale. So shout out to my girl, Tamiko, for sharing her discount with me. I got some fragrances as well, but I decided to do the fragrance haul separately because those I just wanted to talk a little more in depth about. So part one, I have already posted. So if you did not see my most recent fragrance haul, definitely check that out. I will link it up top. But if you guys want to see the makeup and other things, as well as part two of the fragrance haul, I will be posting that shortly after this video so this stuff is just makeup random things i've got some candles y'all so if you guys are interested in seeing what i picked up from sephora during the sale as well as just over the summer that i never got around to hauling for you guys then let's go ahead and jump into it so the first makeup palette um is one that i've already been using this summer and that is the natasha denona yucca palette hopefully you guys can see that and this palette y'all is just so perfect for the summer for me especially someone who really appreciates kind of like warmer tone palette actually wearing this palette on my eyes today if you guys cannot tell it's definitely a very shimmery green look and i'm just really really into that right now i love greens i love gold especially in the summer and i don't know i just feel like this palette just has so many great transitional shades that you really can't go wrong with this and I feel like it's very much beginner friendly. So I have been loving this this summer. As you guys can see, I've already been playing around with her and I'm just very much a fan. If you like those kind of earthy neutrals with a little bit of shimmer on top, I'm very much a fan of this. And I will be auctioning one of these off in my next Whatnot live stream. I know a lot of you guys have been seeing me talking about Whatnot quite a bit recently. And if you guys are unfamiliar with what Whatnot is, with what Whatnot is, <laughs> it's a live stream auction platform so it's very similar to like an ebay or a qvc except you are streaming live while you are auctioning off products so i've pretty much auctioned things off you guys for like 50 percent off of retail prices in my past two lives which a lot of you guys shop so if you if you guys have purchased anything from any of my recent shows on whatnot definitely let us know in the comments below so the girls know because i know some people were a little confused and some of y'all are already getting your packages so thank you guys so much but i will be auctioning one of these off in my upcoming one so definitely make sure you sign up in the description box below i do want to thank whatnot for sponsoring a portion of this video but yeah you guys if you sign up with my code you get 15 dollars towards your first purchase if you are a first time user of the platform so you guys it's really fun i definitely recommend y'all tap in with me it's a super super fun exciting time where you can pretty much get things for cheap it does retail for 69 dollars however i will be starting my auction for this at two dollars so go ahead and sign up now go ahead and bookmark my next show i do have two more shows coming up so yeah thank you guys so much for your support and let's go ahead and move on to the next ice palette that i picked up is the anastasia beverly hills cosmos palette this i really wanted as soon as it came out but i was like mm, i'm gonna wait a little bit closer and honestly the sale was the perfect time to grab it so i went ahead and picked this up and y'all the shimmers in here are so gorgeous i have not actually used this palette as of yet but i have seen so many reviews and this palette just looks gorgeous so many people have so many great things to say about this on the sephora like reviews that their palettes were arriving broken like the blue shade was arriving shattered or something i didn't personally experience that mine actually arrived just fine and this is another palette that i will be auctioning off in my show so it'll be fun to go ahead and swatch one of these so you guys can see so let me see let's see which one i want to swatch girl let's go with this supernova because i think this is the one that i liked the most a better lighting situation soon y'all so please bear with me but yeah i listen i mean look at the pigment on my finger like I just cannot wait to play around with this one you guys so and then the last actual makeup palette i picked up was the natasha denona mini starlet palette again this is another palette that at the time of me filming this video you guys this is currently sold out on sephora's app right now so i will be auctioning off two of these <laughs> during my next live makeup auction so please stay tuned again all of the products i'm auctioning off our brand new box but yeah this is sold out and i have not gotten a chance to play around with her but 
I can tell that this is going to be something I use a lot. This is going to be bomb to travel with as well. It just has some really beautiful neutral type. I don't know. It looked a lot more pink when I ordered it, but in person, it's definitely more of like a mauve nude pink, which I'm very much a fan of because I feel like those are just super beautiful complimentary shades. You got a couple of shimmers in there and the mattes, of course, and I think that's just going to make a really beautiful like nude soft smoky eye so i just can't wait to play around with this one a little bit more and i'm definitely gonna get some use out of her this fall okay y'all let's move into a couple other new makeup items now honestly i was trying my hardest to wait and not get any new makeup until the sephora vib sale but i just kind of was thinking like november is a while away so i was like i might as well just go ahead and grab some things now so i also picked up two of the new patrick ta double take cream powder blush duos i got two of the new shades so i got one in the shade she's wanted which is this gorgeous like berry red which normally shades like this i don't typically go for because they can show up like extremely pigmented on me and like be really hard to kind of tone down on my skin tone but these formulas so so easy to blend and build up so i picked this one up and then i also picked up the shade she's flushed did not pick up the newest blue pink shade because i feel like the barbie blue pink trend i'm kind of a little bit over right now and i just want to go ahead and gravitate more towards my like fall tones the berries the mauves the purples you know what i'm saying so that's kind of my, been my vibe lately but this is what it looks like i almost don't want to touch it because like the packaging is so nice but this is she's wanted and i just want to show you guys what she looks like i just think the color is gorgeous and then let me go ahead and show you guys she's wanted actually i could swatch this one for y'all too i might as well because i don't plan on returning this so so that is how deep this is pigmented so let's see i'm going to actually swatch this next to where my supernova was so y'all look at how pigmented that is and that's just the powder so i know the cream is going to just be just as bomb so it'll be really really pretty in the fall and i cannot wait to use her up with my fall vampy looks like y'all know how i do if you've been following me for a little while y'all know i love a good burgundy lip um and then let's open up she's flushed which i really like this one too because it's kind of like uh just like the name says kind of like a natural flushed look so you're not doing too too much but this is one of those shades that builds up really beautifully and it just kind of has this peachy coral mauve type of dynamic and i really really love this right now during this time of year especially so i cannot wait to use these and show you guys what they actually look like on the face i meant to use them today but i kind of just forgot <laughs> and i've had all this stuff sitting down here so that i could haul it for you guys so some of these items i have already been using but a lot of them i just have not really busted into yet so i cannot wait to use these two then I also picked up the little mini of the Beja Floor. This was recently released in the Jet Set. So they did already have the Jet Set in the Chirosa 62, which I've talked about in my most recent favorites video. So definitely check that out. But I had to pick up the cute little Beja Floor set because this is a scent I really, I, I'm not going to say I never gravitated towards, but I have to be in the mood for this one so I really thought that just getting the little jet set would be a great way to kind of like scratch that craving and scratch that itch. This definitely gives that Ariana Grande cloud DNA mixed with a little bit of Burberry Her for sure. So yeah, if you have either of those two fragrances, this would be a bomb to layer with. If you like those types of scent profiles, you guys, I definitely think you should check this one out. I feel like this one isn't as hyped as the other Sol de Janeiro scents, but this one is definitely a very pretty feminine scent and the cream itself is super moisturizing. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up because I also wanted to try out the shower gel and see if I wanted to get a full size of that. So yeah, that is the Beja Floor Jet Set. I also picked up the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Balm Powder. I got mine in the shade Universal because I really wasn't sure what actual color to get. And one of my favorite, favorite, favorite makeup girlies on here. I feel like I talk about her in a lot of my videos where I'm talking about makeup, but Alge, she was basically showing how to use this with a beauty blender, y'all. And I, when I tell y'all that has been 
the best primer for me this summer because basically i wish it was in here so i could show you guys but i've been using it so it's upstairs with the rest of my makeup but basically instead of using the scooper that it comes with and like scooping it out she takes a damp beauty blender and she like swirls it around and just kind of presses it into her face which i found to be an amazing way to use it because i'm someone who kind of struggles with wanting to completely rub my primer into my face and really primers you're supposed to kind of tap into the skin so that method really helps me to control how much i'm putting on i definitely recommend the universal shade if you plan on using it that way because it's not really adding color it's just adding that really nice base and to pair this with the yummy serum skin tint i also have been using so i got two shades because i am someone that has a lot of different undertones like on different parts of my face different parts of my body i kind of have neutral golden olive undertones like it's so weird you guys and especially depending on what kind of light that i'm in if i've been in the sun and then in the winter it just my undertones are, are are all over the place so i do usually have to mix my skin tints together but i feel like she does have a pretty decent range and y'all this skin tint for me it gives the perfect level of coverage like it's not super sheer but it's not like foundation thick either it's just perfectly in between so i love to use this with my super group the tinted one the tinted spf and it just gives me like the perfect golden shimmery coverage so let me show you guys what it looks like i know a lot of you guys have probably already heard of this but because i feel like this has just been one of the most hyped of skin tints right now but using this y'all with the freaking um balm powder game changer it is complete it is the most bomb combo y'all like when i want to go for those effortless you know not full beat just sun kissed dewy glow looks i have been loving this so again i have two shades i mix shade nine and ten ten is probably closer to my summer color right now but honestly number nine will probably be like my true shade once it starts to cool down and i'm not as tan but yeah i've just been loving this serum you guys if you have not tried it i highly 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 recommend it and speaking of glow screen i did pick up another one of these this is something else that i spoke about in my most recent favorites video i kept telling y'all the wrong color so my color in this is golden hour so this just has a very bronzy sun sun kiss glowy dewy look and this has spf 40 in it some people do set this with powder i just recommend that you make sure you're applying it with a brush or something because i feel like if you apply it with just your hands and you don't like use a beauty blender or something to kind of pat it into the skin it does transfer but i don't really like setting it with powder because i feel like that takes away from the kind of glowy vibe but i've been loving this you guys again mixing this with the danessa myrick's yummy skin serum skin tint i absolutely have been loving this combo so i went ahead and picked another one of these up because mine is about to be empty and you know girl you got to have your spf like you cannot play around about the spf so yeah I, like I might as well do each brand together but i went ahead and re-upped on my vitamin enriched face base foam from bobby brown this is another one of my go-to primers absolutely love this i put this on just to make sure my skin is completely moisturized before i put on my primer and it just helps my primer to stick better so usually i will put this on and then i will put on like the Vanessa myricks balm or i'll put on like the hydro grip like something that's more tacky i will put on top of this because this is definitely more of an absorbent moisturizer on my skin so yeah i absolutely have been loving this i've been purchasing purchasing this for a few years now and i will not be without this it took me forever to go through the last container that i had because i was kind of like alternating what i was using but this is definitely one of my tried and trues and i will forever recommend this something i have not tried yet and i cannot tell you guys if i like it or not this is the bobby brown vitamin enriched skin tint this one i got in the shade golden three i really can't even tell you guys if it's the right shade for me like i hope it is because at this point i can't return it it's another skin tint i'm definitely in my skin tint phase of life but this is what it looks like so i always love bobby brown's packaging because it's always just really simplistic and nice but i don't know y'all i can't speak about this one right now unfortunately to let you guys know if i like it or not i'm sure there's already reviews online about it so i will update you guys and let y'all know if i'm liking it if you see it in the next favorites video that will tell you something but as of now this is something that i will continue to recommend 
this one is something that I have to try and I will let you guys know how I feel about it. This is something new that I want to try. I have not opened this yet as you guys can see but this is one of Sephora's newest foundations. So this is the matte powder foundation. So I'm very excited because I use the um, skin finish the skin perfecting one i can't think of the name right now y'all but y'all know it's the one that's just like bomb the baked micro micro finish powder or something i use that one but i usually use that one more so to set like my bronzer so this one is definitely more my foundation shade so i'm very excited because i have kind of been wanting to do some matte looks lately and i want to see how this does sephora's foundation products honestly are bomb for the money so I think when I bought this, they were doing four times the points on Sephora collection or they were doing four times the points on foundation in general. I can't remember, but I got mine in the shade 33.5 in. That does seem to be my correct shade as of right now. I told you guys I kind of have like golden neutral olive <laughs> undertones. There's a lot going on, but this one does seem to work really well so i can't wait to try this out and let you guys know how i feel about it i may use this to just set my overall cream foundation or i might use this by itself because i think this powder foundation will be bomb with the danessa myrick's yummy skin balm because it kind of already has a natural sheen to it so i feel like putting a powder on top of that will be bomb as well so yeah last couple of makeup items you guys before we get into some skincare things and a couple of candles so i also picked up the milk odyssey lip gloss i think this is this is in the shade soul 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 search and it's got like a pink glittery shimmer i have not tried i don't even know that milk had lip gloss products so i have not tried any of their lip gloss products i wanted to try this one out because i love a shimmery pink to put on top of my like nude lips so this is what she looks like. The packaging is really, really pretty. It's just really nice, just really, really simple. So let me actually, I wanna swatch this one for you guys so we can see. Oh, I love the applicator. The applicator is pretty. So let me see. Really pretty. That is really pretty, y'all. Hopefully you guys can see that, but yeah. And it's got like gold sparkles in it i'll actually put a swatch of what it looks like on the model on the side as i'm talking about this so you guys can see but yeah i'm really really excited to use this this will be really really cute with like a pink baby doll blush i know i just said i'm kind of over the pink baby doll blush trend but this will be really cute with that so yeah, i thought i was done with makeup but i'm not so this i actually did not pick up from sephora but you can pick these items up from Sephora. So I was actually sent these items from Merit Beauty and you can actually pick these items up at Sephora or if you want to shop my link that does directly support me, I do have a link with Merit Beauty where you can shop these items and that does directly support me but either one you guys i'll have them linked in the description box below if you shop through merit they give you this really cute little makeup bag which i thought was so adorable um and it's just really really cute if you purchase from merit's website directly they will give you this free little makeup bag that ties but the products that they sent me y'all so freaking cute okay first things first so this is actually something that i have used before this is the Merit Flush Balm. I wanted to get this in the shade Persimmon because it's this really beautiful orangey flush, um, kind of like cheek balm. It's basically like a blush, but you put it on kind of like a bronzer stick. And I wanted the Persimmon one because I'm really into the orangey shades right now, but they were sold out at the time. So they actually sent me the shade Fox, which honestly, this is going to be perfect for the fall like i told you guys i've been really into these kind of natural flushed looks that kind of have this mauve kind of like brown neutral kind of shade and i'm really really into this y'all so these formulas are amazing like they build up super super well and they really give you more of that natural blush look so I really like these. Again, I personally love the shade Persimmon, but I'm super excited to try out Fox because um, I think this is going to look really, really gorgeous just for the fall for that natural flush look. It kind of gives me the same vibes as the Patrick Ta She's Flush. I would say this one just looks a little bit more kind of purpley, but they're very, very close. So yeah, again, if you shop directly through my Merit link, I will have that in the description box. 
you can get this free makeup bag with your purchase but you can also shop through sephora either one girl whichever one works for you and they also sent me this merit shade shade slick jelly tinted lip oil so this one i got in the shade hete i think that's what it's called these are so amazing i feel like i may have talked about this in a favorites video but if i did not i love these you guys if i didn't if i did not already have on another gloss i would put this on for y'all but these right here so these just give your lips a nice beautiful kind of like flushed look like that I'm on a lip tint but you can't really tell type of look and i will just try to put some pictures on the side so you guys can see what they look like but these are so nice the formula isn't super sticky and when you put it on it almost kind of looks like you have that if you put on this shade of lipstick and wiped it off and it just had the stain left behind i really really like these you guys so i have not tried this particular shade um but i'm excited to try this shade because it's kind of that again a really pretty neutral bubblegum pink and i think this is gonna look really really good so these items you can pick up from sephora if you shop the merit link you can get this cute little bag so yeah thank you merit so much for sending these items over to me and if you guys want to try them out i'll have the information for y'all in the description box below okay <laughs> this is the official last makeup item you guys so this is the charlotte tilbury air blush air, air blush airbrush flawless filter setting spray i have not had this in a while and i don't know why i stopped using it but i went ahead and picked this back up because i have been using a setting spray for makeup forever and while i really like it i was just missing how perfectly this set my makeup especially when i'm using the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter like they just go perfectly together so I'm sure most of the girlies already know about this, but I did have to re-up on this because I've just been missing it in my makeup routine. So yeah, I went ahead and picked her up. This literally sets my makeup for like at least 12 hours. Like I've literally put this on and woken up without washing my makeup off. Of course, we've all done that, girl. Don't, don't judge me, but my makeup was literally still in place. So yeah, highly recommend this if you have not tried it. You can get the mini one as well if you don't wanna like commit to the full size, so. Hey, yeah. yeah, before we get into a couple of skincare items, I wanted to show you guys some candles. So the first one that I'm so excited about, this is the Forever Mood Champagne Showers by Jackie Ina. Now, y'all. First of all, I love Jackie Ina. I feel like all the girls love Jackie Ina, but I know her candle company went through like a whole lot of like, I don't know, changes because people were like not pleased with the quality and things like that. So I, these are like her newly relaunched version. So I was super excited to try them out. Now they are one wick candles. So even though they're a larger size, they are one wick, which I'm typically not a, wick, a one wick kind of girl, but this definitely smells to me like champagne toast from Bath and Body Works, but I would say not as fizzy. Um, but that's just what I'm getting on cold. So I don't know. When I burn this, I will let you guys know how I actually feel about it. But I love the smell. I love the packaging. And I just love supporting my girl, Jackie. So hopefully this gives what it needs to give because I'm dying to try some of the other scents. And I know she's made a lot of improvements so hopefully girl this holds up and holds her own because y'all know i'll report back and let y'all know next item you guys this is this little candle set from bala spa this i actually was gifted by my best friend in her little bridesmaid slash bachelorette bags that she made for us when we were in miami so just look at this you guys this is so cute and i've already smelled all of these candles they literally all smell amazing and they're just the cutest thing. So I'm gonna take one out just so you guys can see, but they are basically coconut wax candles. And this one is, what is this? Pomander and Hinoki wood. So, okay, I'm struggling. But this is what they look like y'all. And they're just so cute. Like y'all cannot tell me that it's not adorable. So I can't wait to bust these open. These are very much giving me like a self-care night where you just want to light a couple of little tiny candles like around your tub if you're you know giving yourself a facial like these are just really cute so i don't know if this particular set is still in stock at sephora so i would just link something similar because i think this is a great way to try a bunch of different candles from the brand and i absolutely love how all of these smell so yeah that is the vala spa 
little mini soy candle set no wait coconut I can't remember y'all I'm sorry I'll have it linked in the description box okay y'all let's take a breather let's take a break everything else should all be skincare so let's jump into that also picked up this summer Friday's light aura vitamin c peptide eye cream this eye cream is supposed to have like little gold flakes and like caffeine in it I'm pretty sure but I've told you guys before my skin just loves vitamin c and I'm trying to go ahead and get ahead of the you know eye care and just get into a routine of using eye cream so i've heard honestly mixed reviews with this one some people absolutely love it some people feel like it doesn't do enough but I, I don't really have dark circles necessarily so i feel like this will be a nice balance for what i actually need it for so again i will update you guys and let you guys know how i feel about it but i've seen a few dermatologists co-sign this and say that it's good so I will let y'all know and report. This is something I can absolutely stand behind and swear by. This is the Skin Fix Barrier. This one is the Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. So there are two different um, Skin Fix creams and the other one, I won't say I didn't like it, but I just feel like this one is just super, super moisturizing. So I have gone through one of these before you guys and I absolutely love this as a night cream. So this is basically how it comes out. You basically push this little part down and it dispenses a little bit of the cream. And I just think that is just so freaking cute. And of course it is vegan, planet friendly, packaging, recy recyclable, all that good earth conscious stuff. And I just absolutely love this. So I highly recommend if you are dealing with dry skin or you just want your skin to be you just want your skin to have that moisturized glow like when you first wake up in the morning. I highly recommend this for sure. This I've already used as well and I've really been loving it. It's a little hard to open, I'm not gonna lie, so hopefully it doesn't fall out completely when I show you guys. But this is one of Sephora's little facial shavers. Now, normally I will do the little multi-pack where they're like different colors, but I actually stumbled across this one and I'm so glad that I found this one instead because again, we are all about being earth conscious around here, girl. So this is a metal one and this is what it looks like. So it comes with this little, it comes with one blade and the little cover, but then it also comes with three additional blades. And then even after you go through those, you can just continue to buy the blade refills, which I think is so much better than continuously buying the plastic ones. But I use these, you guys, for dermaplaning. I have just recently started dermaplaning my face and it was definitely a learning curve. Like I got a couple of nicks and scratches along the way, girl, that I'm still trying to heal. But for the most part, you guys, as long as you apply like an oil or something on your face and you're making sure you're holding your skin very taut, this really does help to get off that dead layer of skin, any peach fuzz and things like that. And it just helps your products absorb so much better and makes your makeup look so much better. Like I never really was interested in dermaplaning until my best friend started talking to me about it. And I'm like, okay, girl, let me try it out. And now I'm hooked. So I went ahead and got this little facial razor and yeah, I'm just loving this right now. So if y'all see this in my next favorites video, just pretend like you haven't seen it already okay yes, i am i picked up you guys this is polish choice omega cleansing balm y'all i love this for taking off my makeup and this also leaves my skin super glowy super dewy and sometimes i don't even have to double cleanse with this like i will just wipe this off and i'm good to go so I just love Polish Choice as a brand, but this is definitely one of my favorite makeup removing cleansing balms because I feel like it doesn't strip my skin. It actually adds nutrients back into my skin and I just absolutely have been loving this, you guys. So this I also recently auctioned off on my latest live stream or whatnot and a couple of you guys were able to get your hands on this for super, super cheap. So if you guys have tried it, let me know how you feel about it. I hope you feel the same way about it as I do. But yeah, I just love Polish Choice as a brand and this is just no different. We're getting down to the wire. So I do have a couple of hair care items. So I picked up these two way thick hair items. So I got the thick hair shampoo and also the conditioner. As you guys can see, I have very thick natural hair. And I have never tried any of Way's hair products. I've honestly heard mixed reviews. I figured this would be a great one to start with because as someone with thick hair, that's the type of stuff that I need because my hair can be very, very dry sometimes. So 
I can't wait to use this unless you guys know how I feel about this. This is something you guys, I've, I've actually already been using this summer. This is the Caudale um, Grape Water Spray. And I have just been using this when my face needs a refresher throughout the day or if I'm setting my skincare in for the night because I find that it's very helpful to continuously keep your face kind of damp when you're applying your skincare products because it just helps seal everything in and i've really really been enjoying this this gives your skin kind of like that drink of water if you feel like it's dry or you need help getting your products to absorb i've also occasionally used this to set my skin tint and my spf as well and it just gives kind of like this dewy finish some people feel like it doesn't do a whole lot but I don't use this for anything specific except to help seal in my skincare routine. So I feel like it does what I need it to do. I really do want to try a few more items from this brand. So yeah, I've been enjoying this and I think it's great if you are using it to help seal in all of your skincare items. There's some new items, you guys, that I have not tried yet. Um, this is the Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Plump Repair Lip treatment so i have been my lips y'all have been so dry lately and they have just been peeling a lot and it's probably because i have not been wearing spf on my lips as i should so this is kind of like a lip plumper as well as treatment so i have not tried it yet but i do use the dr dennis gross daily skin peeling pads and i absolutely love those so this will be my second product from him that i am trying so i will let you guys know how i feel about it because my lips definitely need some love right now and I want to see how this does, what it does. I wanna see if it tingles cause I'm a little weird about tingly things on my lips as well. So yeah, y'all, we will see. I will update you guys and let y'all know. If y'all want like a Sephora haul update video about some of these products that I haven't used yet, y'all definitely let me know and I will try my best to update you. This is something I actually purchased to take with me to Miami and I forgot to take it with me, but this is the little travel set of the youth to the people kale green tea cleanser and the superfood air whip moisture cream the cleanser itself you guys is one of my holy grail cleansers i recently emptied it in an empties video so check that out if you missed it but i will forever repurchase this cleanser and i found myself buying a lot of little travel sets over the summer because I just like having minis of things because I was checking bags and I just did not want to have full size products. So I bought this to take with me on a trip and then forgot. Now I have it and I'm honestly just going to save it for my next trip because I just like having minis of things on deck when I'm ready to pack and ready to go. So even though I have not used this as of yet this summer, I know I will definitely be carrying it with me the next time I pack a carry on or something like that or I go visit a friend. like. I just think having travel essentials already ready just makes it that much less stressful when you're trying to pack and things like that. So next few items are brand new skincare items that I have not tried yet. I'm pretty sure all of these products are also brand new to Sephora as well. This is the Damn Damn Tokyo. This is the Citrus Glow Vitamin C Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I'm just on a vitamin C serum kick. And that is why I picked this up. And this is also, I guess, a... Japanese skincare brand which like the Asian skincare brands are like the Asian skincare period is just becoming like viral at this point so this is what it looks like the packaging is really really nice and I love anything with a dropper when it comes to serum so I cannot wait to try this out my skin it really responds well to vitamin C and that is what my girl is craving and needing right now so yeah i will update you guys if you guys have like dullness or hyperpigmentation discoloration definitely try and incorporate more vitamin c into your skincare routine speaking of hyperpigmentation and discoloration i also picked up the lion pose unspotted four time acid jelly night serum i know that was a mouthful this you guys have actually already used a couple of times and i am liking it so far when it comes to um like actives in serums that have a lot of actives actives in them i try to slowly incorporate them into my routine so this is what the packaging looks like it is super super bomb and looks looking and so far I do notice that it has helped with the texture of my skin. I just feel like I need a little bit more time with it to let you guys know if it helps fade my dark marks and things, but this does have 15% acids in there. So there's AHAs in there as well. And it's supposed to help with resurfacing with texture and also fading dark marks, which I will say 
it's definitely helped with the texture of my skin especially since i've started dermaplaning so i'm excited to see what the long-term results are of this and yeah i will give you guys updates item that i have here this is the moon juice acid potion liquid exfoliator now i do currently use the polish choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant that is my love that is my tried and true but i do try to stray away from my tried and trues every now and then because i don't want my skin to get so used to them that they stop working so once i finish that i want to try this out because there have been so many bomb reviews on this but this is the acid potion by moon juice again this is super luxe looking skincare like i can't wait to set up like my skincare tray and just see all of these new products just laid out on there because i just feel like all of them have bomb aesthetics but basically again this has a lot of actives in it and it's supposed to help with um you know fading dark marks and just your texture so there's glycolic acid in here salicylic acid reishi niacinamide and lactic acid which my skin loves that like i feel like my skin i feel like the dark marks in my skin fade the fastest when i use lactic acid products so i cannot wait to try this out and let you guys know how she works and the last item that i picked up you guys i'm super excited about is the matter of fact barrier antioxidant treatment so this is a 20 percent liquid crystal turmeric root i guess this is like a facial oil i'm really into so i don't know let's see it says it's supposed to help your skin look more vibrant and look more healthy and i do find that i like to use a facial oil when i have um like a mineral sunscreen on so i don't end up looking really ashy but again this is what this looks like super luxe super nice and i have been wanting a really nice um facial oil because i usually use one from mad hippie which i absolutely love but i've just been wanting to try something different because like i said i try not to continuously use the same things over and over and over my skin does get used to things and then it stops working as well so i don't know i figured while i was shopping the sale i would go ahead and just try a bunch of new things and slowly incorporate them into my skincare routine and let you guys know how i feel about them so that is it you guys for this sephora haul i hope you guys enjoyed it like I said, if you guys want to see an update on any of these items on how I'm feeling about them as I'm using them, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you guys have tried any of these products as well, let me know in the comments below. But let's just chat it up in the comments, girl. And make sure you are subscribed so you can stay tuned for the rest of my uploads that I have planned this week. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.